Hi there, this is Tal from Talrec.com and today I'm going to show you how to write an assembly program using Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express. The Visual C++ 2010 Express is a free product. You can download it for free from Microsoft website and if you need a link, all the link will be posted at my site where you can actually switch right now. If you like uh, the link for this post including this video and some uh, additional files uh, will be posted in my website www.tarik.com the link to that post will be uh, right beneath this video if you are watching this on a handheld device or cellular phone you should probably stay in YouTube and uh, let's start so the first thing to do is fire up Microsoft Visual C++ Again, this is the free version. You can download it for free. And let's start a new project. In the project, we, we don't have too many project options. We got CLR, Win32, and General. So we're going to General. We're going to click Empty Project. And let's call it uh, Assembler program 1, just ASM for short. I'm going to click OK and let Visual Studio work is magic. Actually this will work under Visual Studio 2010, the full version of course, uh, without a problem. Actually in Visual Studio 2010 you have a little gizmo which I show you later uh, well, there is going to be a link to that on my site where you can do uh, syntax encoding we have an option that currently not available under Visual C++ Express but all the other options are exactly the same so we have our project right here we have no files no header, no resource, and no source files now this is very important we right click in this project and here we can see we, all the properties and I'm going to leave it at this and right click it again you don't have to right click twice I just want to show you how it looks before and we click build customizations this is very important and here you make sure that the masam checkbox which usually isn't checked is checked now we click OK now we're going to the source file and we add a new item and we go to the code, let's say C++ file, we're going to name it Assam anyhow so let's call it uh, program.asm and click add uh, I got the program ASM file which is an assembly file and I'm going to right click here again, click properties and voila look what we have, Microsoft MicroAssembler so we have Microsoft MicroAssembler here meaning we did something right and we can run this program as an assembly program now since we select a, a target of an empty project um, it will be how to build this project so we go to property again then we go to linker here we got all the linking options. The fact that we are writing in a sample doesn't mean that we don't have to link the program. We still have to link the program. So let's go to System. And under Subsystem, we can select many type of uh, programs. And we are going to select this one. Not the console one. But we're going to write an actual Windows program without a console. And that's it. Now we go to the advanced, under advanced we supposed to put an entry point however I devil with it a little bit and actually saw that no matter what entry point I use um, it will work even if I don't put anything here but for the sake of good order let's put something here, let's put it main here we're going to write a main entry point believe me even if you're going to name it start it will still work but to keep on the safe side, let's do it like this. So, what's left? We need to start writing our program. So, first thing is first, we start with the 
CPU uh, instruction, which meaning that uh, you need at least a Pentium CPU, and I think that's not a huge assumption to make that pretty much everybody here have at least Pentium CPU. So this is what 0.586 means. Under Windows again, uh, Linux have slightly different uh, parameters for assembly. And uh, now uh, let's go to model. The model instruction. Oops, I had to do that. Point. Now in DOS, if you use to write DOS assembly code, uh, model and stacks and segments, most of them are gone now. In 32 bits, usually use the flat mode, and in 30 and in 64 bits, excuse me, you always use the flat mode, and you don't even have to mention it. Also, the calling sequence is different, but uh, we can deal with it uh, when we reach to it. So, model, we're going to use flat, and we're going to use standard calling. Standard call meaning that we are going to call some of the function in Windows using standard call mechanism, and uh, usually nobody really cares about standard calling uh, well, some people that like maybe COM component object model code but in assembly you do the, the fact is learning assembly is uh, quite important because you have to be familiar with this concept as standard calling and other options we're going to allocate some memory for the stack about 4 kilobytes, believe me, that's enough for assembly program and uh, we're going to call two functions, we're going to import two functions one of them is exit process I'm going to explain what the at mean, what the at sign means which is a procedure and the message box A we'll explain this as well um, that uh, we use to uh, show message boxes and this has to be at 16 and this is a procedure as well I'm using tab to switch to the procedure to, f to switch and to make this code uh, alignment look good ok so we got the definition we got the stack definition and we need some data what is data? data is definition of variables we can define empty space we don't have int or float types here we basically have only the storage we have bytes, we have words which is 2 bytes we have uh, double words, quad words, and so forth. Uh, the int and the bool and all the other uh, C++ types are for the spoiled programmers. Not for us, not the hardcore people. So uh, I actually need uh, two data uh, storage here. One is message text. I'm going to define it in bytes and I'm going to call it hello world this is a sample and you might remember that C++ program always clear C++ uh, string is always terminated by zero the, the C string is always terminated by zero and we need a caption remember message box we got caption there so let's define the message caption again define byte and test program again have to trail it with terminate a null which is zero in assembly so we have the model we have the procedure that we like to call from windows and we have the data that we want to use next thing is writing the code so let's start by writing the code 